Welcome back everybody to my six week of Halloween reviews. Today we're gonna to be talking about Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. Stay tuned to the end of this video. I'll be sharing my least favorite and favorite kills for this movie. Now there are two versions of this movie. There is the producer's cut and then there is the theatrical version which people think that the producer's cut is the more superior version. I actually have not seen the producer's cut so this movie review is going to be based on my viewing for the theatrical version of Halloween 6 which stars Paul Rudd. Now if you remember at the end of Halloween 5 Michael Myers has a brief stint in jail and he's broken out of jail by the mysterious man in black. Jamie Lloyd sees that he is not in prison, screams, and it leaves our movie with an opening for the sixth movie and wondering who is the man in black and what is his role in the Halloween movies. Halloween 6 returns Jamie Lloyd in the beginning. She gives birth to her baby. She is having this baby in front of a cult. The baby is taken away, but a nurse helps her try to escape in the beginning of this movie. The nurse is eventually killed. Jamie heads to a bus station to get on the phone to call Haddonfield radio station to warn Haddonfield that Michael Myers is coming. The DJ wants nothing to do with it, but Sam Loomis overhears the radio and warns Haddonfield that Michael Myers is coming. Also in this movie stars Paul Rudd as the young boy that Jamie Lee Curtis's character in the very first movie had babysat. So he saw some stuff, it really messed him up in the mind, and Paul Rudd gives a very creepy performance in here. A lot of people don't like this performance, I really don't mind it, because if you really think about the boy, he saw some things that would probably haunt a person later down the road. He saw that and now he's really, really invested in trying to figure out why Michael Myers is killing people. So we have Paul Rudd in his very first movie in here and I enjoy the performance. It's very creepy at times. He gives off like a really psychotic, stalkerish vibe, which I don't really mind. We also have some relatives of the Strode family. This is um, a family, uh, Lori Strode's adopted father's brother is living in the Michael Myers house and he is living with his wife, his son, his grandson and his daughter. He is easily the worst character in any of the Halloween movies. So we have our main characters in that family, the daughter and her son, and then Paul Rudd's character as well. They play a big part in this movie and Paul Rudd has discovered that there is this cult of Thorn and he explains it to Kara and her six-year-old son, Danny. The cult of Thorn was inflicted on Michael Myers and is an ancient curse. Supposedly, long time ago, one child from each tribe chosen to bear the curse of Thorn must sacrifice its next of kin on the night of Halloween. Tommy, played by Paul Rudd, believes that Jamie Lloyd's son, he eventually names him Stephen because he found him at the bus station, is going to be the next person that Michael Myers is going to kill. So they team up with Sam Loomis and Kara and Danny, which is Kara's son, and little baby Steven, and they try to survive the night of Halloween so Michael Myers won't kill everybody and continue this sacrifice. I don't really mind Halloween 6. It's not my least favorite Halloween movie, but it is on the lower part of the list. It's a movie that is sometimes a little bit boring. They throw a lot of information at you at once. A lot of information on Michael Myers' past. We even have the person who supposedly babysat Michael Myers on the night that he killed his family. But if you go through and watch the first movie, she's nowhere to be seen. They even mention, hey, we're alone. We are alone, aren't we? Michael's around someplace. <laughs> Take off that thing. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. Okay. So there are some plot holes in this movie as well. And I don't mind so much of the backstory. I've always kind of wanted to know why Michael Myers is so invincible and can never be killed. We got that in here is because these people have been protecting him throughout the years so he can continue the sacrifice each night on Halloween. We have some backstories. It's kind of a stretch, this 
thorn cult has been protecting him and he is possessed and wants to kill people because they tell him to and they kind of briefly touched upon that maybe danny the son of kara would be the one that would kill start killing people because in the beginning of the movie he had these visions and people were telling him to kill people that really didn't work out this movie kind of just ended like an what's happening because you had Michael Myers mask on the floor and then we heard Sam Loomis scream in the background that's the ending for the theatrical version I've watched videos on the producer's cut and the ending is a bit different it kind of wraps up that thorn trilogy that we had for four five and six this movie though has a really good Halloween vibe for it. You can tell that it's Halloween, the leaves are falling, it looks very cold out and I love that about this one because the previous Halloween movies didn't really have a Halloween holiday vibe. This one did and I really did appreciate that. The acting is kind of stiff at times from people. The backstory for Michael is a bit stretched out and a kind of not believable. But I don't mind it. Some people really don't like watching Halloween 6 and the Rob Zombie reboot because it explains Michael Myers' reason for killing. A lot of people just like it for he just wants to kill. And I understand both sides, but I don't mind the explanation as much as other people do. I do appreciate explaining why he's so invincible and will never die. That I kind of enjoyed i like the concept of the cult but overall halloween 6 did have some rough moments it is a little creepy at times with paul red but the kills come a plenty and they are very bloody which i do like it is a pleasant film to watch for maybe like once or twice but i wouldn't want to watch halloween 6 like over and over again I would love to watch the original Halloween over and over again, not this one. I'm going to go ahead and give Halloween 6 The Curse of Michael Myers a C-. minus. Alright guys, time for my favorite and least favorite kills of this movie, Halloween 6. Starting off with my least favorite, the worst kill of this movie, goes to Jamie Lloyd. Because they killed off a very important character for the previous two movies, so early on i just found her kill not only to be very weak but a slap in the face to the character as well i had that same issue with halloween 5 when they killed off the sister of jamie the her adoptive sister they killed her off so early and she played a strong part in halloween 4 they killed her off very early in 5 very weak to the character and they're doing the same as well for number six i would love to see maybe a little more explanation for jamie lloyd and i would like to see a little more of her maybe teaming up with sam loomis to stop michael myers once and for all that would have been really cool but they killed her off so early on and it was very disappointing but my favorite kill has to go to the nurse in the beginning i love how he just picks her up and slams her head up against this spike in the wall it's very cool for the first kill in the movie michael myers is being controlled by the cult he slams her head in there and he just watches her like he's proud of what he does that kind of that head tilt just kind of tops it all off so there you guys have it my favorite and least favorite kills for this movie. What is your favorite kill for Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers? Thank you guys for checking out my review for Halloween 6. Leave your thoughts down below for the film. And if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. And click that bell notification so you don't miss any of these Halloween reviews. You guys are the best as always. This is Just Watch Movies. And you guys stay classy, YouTube.